I'm going to show you how to make this cute lined memo card that you can use as a sticky note. So you can write on it and erase on top of it and you can change it to any color you want. So the background can be any color and also the lines can be any color. Okay, so this is totally editable and you can make it however you want. So let's go ahead and get started. First, you're gonna to wanna to choose the text box and make a new text box. And then I'm going to get a font like Arial and I'm going to make some underscores just by holding down the shift and the dash button on my keyboard. And I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the width of this so that it doesn't continue to go all the way across the screen. If you don't make an adjustment to the width, it'll just keep getting wider and wider. So as I make these lines, I'll tell you what we're gonna do next is we're going to adjust the spacing between these lines. So don't worry about the color yet and don't worry about how close together they are. Now, another thing you can do is adjust the size of these lines, the, the width of them, I guess. And you would do that by changing the font size. But I like thin lines, so I'm not gonna change the font size. And now I think we have enough to work with. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, highlight all of this by hitting Control A on my keyboard and then adjusting the letting in the paragraph options within the GoodNotes tool. And so you can adjust this to however wide you want them to be for whatever purpose you're using this for. And you can always adjust them later. So I'll say that's fine for now. And then I'm going to add a background color. Of course, it doesn't matter what this is because this is also adjustable. And if you'll notice, um, something that does bother me is that it's not perfect at the top or bottom. It doesn't match the rest of the um, line spacing. So what I like to do is come in and put a space in the top, on the top line. So I'm going to edit, go all the way to the top, and then hit enter, and then come back up and put a space. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. Don't worry if your lines are off. Just go ahead and hit enter and put a space at the bottom because we just want right now. We just are worried about um, the height of this last line and the height of the first line. So then I'm going to come in and edit it again. And highlight only the space at the bottom if I can get a hold of it. <laughs> It's kind of hard to do because it's so small. You can also put multiple spaces in there, but it doesn't really matter. And then you can use that to, after you've highlighted only the line that you want to adjust at the bottom, then you can get a little, a little more perfect down there. And then I'm going to come up here and do the same thing at the top. Only highlight the space. Okay. And then adjust that spacing, the paragraph options. Okay, that's fine for now. And then what you want to do is hit it one more time to edit it. And I want to make my corners rounded. So I'm just going to tap it all the way up to 20, I think is the maximum. And then I'm going to add the a shadow. Okay, and then I want to make sure I have my width what I want it to be, and you can make this as short or as long as you want, and maybe right there. And then I want to, if you'll notice, one other thing. I like for my lines to go all the way to the edge. So as you are adjusting the text box, make sure that you pop it just to the edge of that line. There we go, so that it runs all the way to the edge. 
And now I do want to take a few, well, actually I want to add a few lines, um, a few underscores to complete that line at the bottom. So I actually like to add and delete lines from the middle, just so I don't get rid of my spacing at the bottom and at the top, I just do everything from the middle. So I'm going to add some more underscores to complete that last line. And that's it. Now we have a memo card that is totally adjustable in size and in color. So let's just for fun do this one more time. And this says text color, but an underscore is actually text. So in this case, we'll be changing the line color. Let's do a purple or something. And then come back into the background and maybe make it like a periwinkle, a light periwinkle. Cool. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. You can always um, add these to your elements as well and reuse them if you want to keep those same colors and just adjust them later. Add them from your elements and just adjust the colors later. Enjoy. Hello everyone, I'm Brooke and I make digital planners and notebooks. You can find my online shop at brookbot.com. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a big old thumbs up by tapping that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can bring you more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.